he's doing better and he uh, feels good. He should play tomorrow. We'll play tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Coach, last preseason game uh, tomorrow. What are you looking to see just for the final two minutes before the road thing on Tuesday? I think better defense. That's the main thing. Our defensive effort the last two games has been poor. Um, and um, we've got to limit our fouls. We've been fouling too much. So those are the two things I'm really looking for. And, um, We'll probably ramp up the minutes a little bit for our, uh, our, our main guys who, um, who play those kind of minutes. I want to I want to get them one game where they uh, get up maybe just 30 minutes or so. What do you know about Davis? What do you think he can bring to Spurrier? I don't know a whole lot about him other than that he's a Michigan State guy and um, so that he plays for the Grizzlies, but I haven't seen him play much. But uh, I've talked to Kent and Aaron about him. They're excited. It's hard to get a good big guy in the G League, uh, and a uh, guy who was recently drafted in the first round, I believe, late the first, uh, 31st, 31st, yeah, uh, so we're excited to have him, and uh, you know, we've had a really good relationship with, uh, between Golden State and Santa Cruz, as you guys know, we've used, we've used the uh, relationship really well, and uh, so we're trying to uh, help as many players as, as we can, and Hope that some of them can come up and help us win games like Quinn Cook did last year. So, what, what does it mean to you to be named to uh, be uh, I'm really, really excited, uh, you know, especially because it's, it's pop. Um, but obviously, it's an honor no matter who's coaching uh, to represent your country. To be on the staff of the national team, it's a huge honor. Uh, so, I get. Uh, uh, but best of both worlds, I get to be on the staff and I get to work with Pop, um, so I'm really excited about that. I also know uh, Jay Wright a little bit, um, big fan of his. I, I used to visit his practices sometimes when I was working in Phoenix, and uh, of course I know Nate well. I think it's going to be a really good group to, to work with. How are you and Pop going to manage that responsibility and then doing the campaign? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Pop's going to have to handle that. He's, uh, he's the first name on the ticket, so I just do what he says. <laughs> what would it mean to you to have that opportunity to kind of come together? Um, Pop just called it. Just an yeah. immediate yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. An immediate yes. And I uh, spoke with uh, Pop first and Jerry Carter as well. And those were the two conversations that I had that uh, cemented everything. And, I know Jerry very well from the Phoenix days and I'm very respectful of him and what he's done with uh, USA Basketball uh, over the last decade or so. Uh, so I'm excited. It's going to be a huge, huge thrill. And, uh, you know, as Pops said, it's going to be fun, but we all win. So that's the plan. How fun will you for the Olympic experience that I just jumped in? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I've, I've never been to the Olympics. And, uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Just the overall experience uh, will be amazing. What would it mean to you to be able to coach so many of your guys on that team? Not only next summer, but maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm not. You know, we don't know what the team's going to look like exactly, but uh, I'm hoping that happens. Uh, and. Uh, We'll see. I'm a tough critic. We'll see if they make the team or not. So the, Olymp <laughs> so the, uh, the Olympics are in 2020. You know, there's this this running thing, the pop curve. Right. How are you guys going to do the Olympics and then run a campaign at the same time? Well, uh, overseas travel. We're going to campaign overseas, okay. apparently, in Japan. <laughs> see if we can secure the Japan vote first. <laughs> <laughs> with, uh, oh, sorry. I'm going to interrupt. Um, with Pop and uh, Jerry, how have they said like how the roles will work among everyone on the staff? Uh, there hasn't been any of that discussion, but uh, I can tell you, knowing Nate and Jay, um, I know none of us are going to care what our title is or where we sit or anything like that. We're, just, we're assistant coaches and Pop's head coach, and we're going to do everything we can to help the team. And, uh, but, I don't, you know, I, I don't think there's going to be any anything beyond that. Just go, go do our jobs and try to win. Assuming Draymond plays tomorrow, do you have any idea what your rotation is going to look like? Uh, not quite yet. Not quite yet. Uh, I may I may tinker with it a little bit. Um, 
But it'll be good to have Draymond back because um, with him out the last, uh, well, basically every game, right? You play, you play the first game. First, first game, man. So the last three games without him uh, has created some interesting combinations, which has been good for us to get a longer look at guys. But some of the combinations um, have uh, struggled a little bit. And so, you know, Draymond has a way of kind of tying things together out there. And so uh, we'll, we'll look at it. Mike and I will sit down and look at uh, the possibilities and, and uh, we'll go from there. With him being out for basically almost two weeks, there might be a minutes restriction. Yeah, 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 we won't sense. throw them out there for, for 30. Um, it'll be it'll be shorter bursts for sure. To, to Marcus, aside, how's everyone else doing? Uh, good, good. Uh, Andre, everybody practiced. You know, Sean and Andre practiced. Uh, they both felt uh, good uh, this morning, and uh, yeah, all good. And, and the plan wasn't to like rest any guys. No, so. no. All right, thanks, 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 Steve. Congrats. All right, thank you. Neutral.